<laughs> the Super G Yu Gi Oh podcast. Um, today I am joined by Lachlan. Hello. Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. Joshua, don't say anything. And uh-huh. Sebastian, who has uh, been a member of the channel for a while but has decided to come back from his hiatus. Almost a year. <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely was deciding then whether or not he actually says hello. He was like, do there's I definitely say hello some, or do some I brain power being involved. He's going through a box of shiny victories that has all the ultras and secrets scalped from it. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Has most of the supers scalped from it also. Um, so, to bring you back on track, Seb, how was your week in Yu Gi Oh? Uh, very good. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Don't ask the rest. Oh. I went 04 with Cubic Eldritch. Wow. But I think, and correct me if I'm wrong against you, Jake, I went to game three in every game. Uh, ben? Oh no, I went. Yeah. I didn't against Ben. Okay, yeah. No. <laughs> I knew Cubic's it was some one person I, I, I did. Actually I actually drew it well and it, played. Sam. Cubic's could never. No. Cubic's bad. Look, yeah. I bricked really badly, so there's not much I could have done mm. to have stopped you in that game. But anyway, um, so that's Seb covered. Lachlan, how was your week? Pretty good. Pretty good. I. It doesn't really count, but I got a competitive top with Dynamist, I Woo! guess. Kind yeah, of. you did. It, it kind of counts, almost. It the, does. The awkward thing is we're going to pass it around the table and we're all going to say we kind of got a competitive top with our deck. Because we... Yeah. Oh, but it's not dynamist, in it? And then it's they just kind of flex, saying, I want to... Every, every single event. person at this table, except Bar. a certain someone... Everyone <laughs> who attended the event. No. Yep. At this table. At oh. this table. Okay. Yeah. Almost everyone that attended the... 80% of us are uh, topped, but um, mine was special because eight. mine was with dynamist. Um, so not that anyone else... Swiss. Uh, yeah, um... Just on resistance too, I tied for first with the dude who came first because uh, we we drew and draws should just never be a thing in yeah. in, uh, I, in. He in, finished in. above you because he beat me. Yeah, pretty lame. I uh, would have won that game too if not for a secure gardener. But you can hear more about that in the dynamis deck profile that I'm putting up tomorrow. Um, I wonder if I can just submit this on Yu-Gi-Oh top decks. Like the top. Surely I can, right? The important thing and is just give it Jake as, a, as a Yu Gi Oh top. <laughs> Drop. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's my week. <laughs> I did very well. <laughs> <laughs> Lost in top cut to some fucking uh, bitch <laughs> in the same deck for 50 years. <laughs> and You've been playing Dynamis <laughs> longer than I've been playing in Wait, you're not mentioning me? No, no, because I didn't lose to oh. you. I would have destroyed you. Oh, sure. Like the other times you've destroyed me with Dynamis. Destroy your head with my fist, my Dano fist. <laughs> <laughs> Dano DNA. <laughs> well, I did pretty well until I put a spinny in my extra deck accidentally. Got a game loss. <laughs> I know, I didn't get a game loss. I no, should have gotten a it game It distracted loss. him so much that he threw the game. <laughs> he was he was legit saying that he was like, if I hadn't put the spinny in there, I wouldn't have misplayed. And it's like, you shouldn't have been allowed to play after that. You yes. should have gotten a game loss. I had 40 cards in the main deck. Yeah, it means you had. Did you have an extra cards. card in the main deck? No. Yeah, because I, I was. Do you have the same sleeves? Yes. This is what you wait, don't you have wait, the same. No, 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 no. Deck. He's fixed that. He doesn't play the same color extra deck in main deck. So what it was, was is he was counting out his deck after he decided, saw there was thirty nine, didn't think to look as to what the card that was missing was, and just chucked in another side deck card. It's just like, oh, I need forty. Chunk. <laughs> Doesn't try to figure out what's wrong. Doesn't count his extra deck. Man doesn't count his extra deck, or his side deck, when he's finished signing. So bad. We live and we learn. But playing Except 39... you don't. You just so, live and so you don't learn. Did you have like a 41 card deck? Or? No, it was 40 cards. So it was just a spinny in the extra deck. And he said, just take spinny out of the extra deck and put it in the side deck. <laughs> It is at this point. God, that is such a blunder, bro. That is like top tier blunder. It's at oh. this point of the podcast where I point out that Hosmar is eating Josh's KFC. You're eating hey, yes. chicken. That's bad for you. King. Hosmar. I can't Don't eat do that. this now. Throw it out then. <laughs> God, I wish I was Hosmar. <laughs> She's chasing you down for it, Josh. Run. Hosmar, you better watch yourself. So my week in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, me, like, yeah, we'll move on. Less my, than a dollar, but... 
my uh my attorney was I went and played Dragon Maid at this uh I guess I what do we call it? It was a return to duel. Yeah. It, it, was, a mat. it was a return to duel winner mat. Um, return to duel premier top. At, yeah, at the start of <laughs> <laughs> at the uh start of round four, which was like the final round of Swiss, uh, I was the only undefeated person in the room. Playing pure Dragon Maid. Felt really good. The only I, person who hadn't lost. Uh that had won all games, yes. you mean? Yes. I had a flawless what, record. What were you saying, Lachlan, at the event? I didn't lose to anyone except Jake. Yep. I didn't lose to anyone except... Nah, I lost to Dino Dude. Who oh. I drew with... Yeah. Get so, ratio. At a... Don't you love me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what even is that? <laughs> at, at a, I don't know. I don't know if I was using it correctly. Why are you sleeving Lunar Lights? <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Sorry, man. We're, we're off on a tangent. Uh, so, at the event, I had three bad hands all day. I, uh, that was... It was really, really good. It was the first hand of the tournament was bad. And then the uh, last two against Jake in top four were bad. Mm. Tonight, I had three good hands all night. It felt really bad. Yeah, look, I've... I don't know if I've ever said this on the podcast, but any time that I've ever had... The what? Yeah, look. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. Um, <laughs> Sorry, continue. Look, I am very tired. Um, so I've said this before. I don't know if I've ever said it in on a recording. Podcast. Shut up. <laughs> we need to get past this moment. We're seven minutes in. You're anyway, doing yes, the this editing. Is a... This is your time you're wasting. I, I don't have to it's edit this. It's going to spend longer editing the pack. So... I've always found that after you do well in an event, your first local's back, you do so poorly. Yeah. Yep. Like, Playing it's the just, exact same list. Yeah. Like, nothing's changed, but for whatever reason, you just do so much worse. But when you it's do bad at a big event, you just... Well, I, I didn't even die. win. I just sucked. <laughs> okay. Why do I still play salad? <laughs> Why do you still play salad? I don't know, That's man. a podcast in its own, so we won't <laughs> discuss that today. Man, when it comes to you, yeah, you do be a vegetarian. That wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All right, change topic. Um, so how was Jake's week? So, yes, so I too went to this tournament. Um, I Sorry. lost one game in Swiss um, because my hand one against... Sorry, yeah, one match in Swiss. Because my hand against Zoo, McKnight, Dragoon, whatever the hell it was. God, that deck. <laughs> what the fuck? Jake, Jake warned me about this, dude. I had zero problems. Who? Yeah, look, my only problem is that my hand was completely unplayable. Okay. I had a complete dogma hand um, of McKnight. Maximus, Dragoon. double Fleur, double Nadir. And he negated both my uh-huh. So I was like, cool, I don't get to play. Um, so that was unfortunate. But then I made it into Swiss, having beaten um, Virtual World... Um, what were the other two? Uh, Lanoid and Mystic Mind, Burn, Stall, Pain in the Ass thing. Oh, did Mind. we verse the same Mystic Mind player? Yeah, we versed him. Yeah. yeah, he was not happy because he negated an Alistar and they had invocation and he said the thing that everyone says is a oh, typical invoke player. No one wants a Mystic Mind player to be happy. <laughs> Correct. Um, they lost that right when they played the deck. <laughs> Fuck you, you Mystic Mind is your deck. <laughs> Yeah. Took it out. So it Imagine putting one of your fucking main deck cards into the extra deck, bro. The scenes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I did, I did make it into Swiss. Dino player, um, of I did beat Lachlan in my first round of Swiss. Um, after, Similarly, sorry, top cut. I, uh, <laughs> uh, Judgment and Alistair and just had the invocation. <sighs> yeah. Um, as you say, it must be and nice. then the next round after Lachlan was immediately bent, and as he said, he didn't open particularly good hands against me. I opened terrible against you in the second game too. Like first game, yeah. it was like a, I, I was running out of cards in my deck, and I was like, okay, well, I need to make a push eventually, and it just didn't work. But then after that, it was like my hand was atrocious. It was double speedos and like one set. For us, game one, we each opened pretty well, and we had a good back and forth, and eventually, once I snowballed, you were like, yeah, game two, and then... Yeah, there was a point where I just couldn't, like... I was going to go, like, plus four board. on my turn, on your yeah. turn, and then start my turn in too much of an advantage. Yeah, so I just sort of gave up after that, but then after that, you just had...
had nothing. I fell apart. <laughs> yeah. It, it happens. It happens every so often. Um, and then my last round was against Dino, and I just had, like, it was the god hand. I had a response for every single thing that he had. And in fairness, he didn't have much either. He also His gripped. game two hand was miserable. Dino wanted to have a fun game. Jake said, no. But... In, in fairness, Khan was Thanks the nicest the guy I've met. <laughs> yeah, met in a like long time. he's he made it very hard very to hate him, human. even though yeah. he was a Dino player. It was very hard to hate him. He's a very nice guy. Had a good outlook on the game. Very new guy. <laughs> he's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, I did end up with the win. There you go. Um. Oh. Um. Quick shout out to RC Cruz. Um. That was a, a well run event. Sponsor us. <laughs> If you're in the Sydney area, do check him out. Um, we typically typically travel to their like Winamat Tawnies that they do mm. once a month. So good locals, good food around it. It's a good place in general. The kebab shop down the road does a good. It's not pack. really a good place, but the, yeah, the kebab shop does do a nice snack pack. Good, yeah. two places. Terrible place though. Don't go there. Outside of going to RC Cruise. Yeah. <laughs> Gas station. Because it is kind of an industrial How area. Much was the gas water station. Bottle? How much was the water locker? It's a gas station. Got? $2.25. Gas station. You get them at any $2. metro. $2. You get them at any metro the across the fucking country. Okay. Okay, Jesse. <laughs> we move. Here we go. <laughs> we move on. So, there's been some things happen in the news this week in terms of Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm just Watch bringing up a YouTube. list. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so one of the, <laughs> one of the first things I wanted to chat about, um, were just some of the additions to the, uh, ban list for, um, remote duels for Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, yeah. So basically, to summarise, it was basically just banning cards that, um, interacted with your opponent to maybe, like, an unfair level. Um, some cool just stuff pull- came off, though, as well. Which we'll- yeah, I'm just pulling up the list now. Uh, here we go. It's here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Second effect. <laughs> Josh is reading bug emergency. Here we go. <laughs> uh, so, now Good for card. remote duels, they've forbidden the cards. Ancient Telescope. Blizzard Warrior. Contact with the Aqua Mirror. Dark Scorpion Chick the Yellow. Destiny Hero Dominance. Uh, Diabolos King of the Abyss. Uh, Flower Cardian... Peony with Butterfly. Um, Goddess Scold's Oracle, which I fucking hate that card. I want that card to be banned in real life. Um, Parasite, Parasite. Uh, Senri Eye. Never heard of that before. I think that's how it's been. Yeah, I think you got it right. Uh, Spell Vanishing, Spiral Gear Drone, and Transmission Gear. Um, so basically, none of those cards can be used because of the way that they interact with the opponents. Like, too hard to do in a remote duel setting. So it does kind of suck for I just read Cardian trans- players. Transmission gear. Yeah, I just read it <laughs> because um, I do remember that card. It's like rock paper scissors, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. It does kind of suck for. Uh... Well, how do you do like Yujo friendship? You can't. <laughs> uh, Yujo just friendship. The screen. Fun they fact have to is order not it. actually legal in like. Non North America. Play. Yeah, it's a it's a junk mm. promo that didn't get reprinted or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I don't know the secret technique with that card. Exchange is not on this list. Can't. Yeah, it was on the old list. It was on the old. They almost made the list for Exchange because Inferno was yeah. running riot with Exchange, and it was just creating like, ah, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, token into hand, and it's like, the um, yeah, they've just. Decided to take it off. I don't know if they think Infernoble is entirely dead or it can't run it anymore, but like, it's not on there. Like, the other cards on this list are absolutely garbage and no yeah. one will play them. There's also and stuff like, much more that isn't on there that is also garbage but has similar effects like a uh, Ancient Telescope. That's on is, there. Is yeah. it? Yeah, yeah it was the very first one yeah. I read out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, Pure Mystic Mind can't play without Goddess Skull Oracle. Like, that's part of their win con. Yeah, it's just making sure you don't top deck it out. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> Prohibition it... call kind of missed howling against me. And I just... I wonder if that's ever happened before. <laughs> no, it was <laughs> Were you the first? Uh, no, no, no. He prohibitioned for Solemn Judgment, then he prohibitioned... Uh, this is game one. Oh, in game and one, I was And then he for Dynamist Howling. <laughs> I was like... How do you know to do it game one? Skull, Goddess, uh, Oracle... Okay, right. Yeah, he yeah. just read the card, he was like... 
Nope. <laughs> you want to like, bounce your monster? <laughs> like, I have more cards than you. Can... Like, in deck, can we scoop? And I was like, oh, I've got an out. And he just, like, looked at it. And then he was like, Prohibition called Don in this toweling. Is that your out? And I immediately scooped. <laughs> <laughs> M2 drop spell cancel. So that is Prohibition <laughs> called Phalanx's Sunlight Wolf. This is a sad day. <laughs> um, That's so, <laughs> uh, so out with the the old cards and the things that they do, and I don't like them. Onto some new cards. So there's been three of recent that I thought I'd highlight. Two of which are new reptile slash alien cards. We covered those last time. Did we cover them? I think I we covered think we the alien cards last time. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Never mind. We didn't cover the other card though. Yeah. Well. Since you have that up, you can talk about it. Oh, I don't have it up anymore. I moved on to a new thing, Bruh. but I'll go back and get it. Okay. So the new card that got announced, uh, was it today or yesterday, was the uh, wonderful support for... Gemini's. Gemini monster. Chem- oh. Well, actually, it's not even Gemini's. It's it does chemi- not critters. support Gemini's. Chemi- critters. It supports Chemi Critters. What if they just gave Chemi Critters a card that was broken for them, but completely, absolutely dog shit useless for everything else? So it's just a simple, normal spell card. Uh... First effect adds Catalyst Field. Second effect, uh, or it can add one Burnout and a Chemi Critter monster. You can manage this card from your graveyard, so it is just a tidying. Okay. Stop. It, not every card with two effects is a tidying. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> this is very not a tidying. Right. <laughs> Banishes from the graveyard, target two face up monsters you control, including at least one Gemini monster. That is treated as an effect monster, and it has gained its effects. Until the end of the turn, change the attack of one to zero. And the other will gain the attack or equal to the original attack of the first monster. So it makes cards big and rotors. Everything. It's very good. Catalyst right? field but is the problem good. is, Catalyst Field, good. Yeah. You can run seven copies of Catalyst Field now with terraforming. Burnout. The problem is, it is mandatory add burnout and the Chemicruta monsters. So yeah. you'd need to run three burnouts to make sure this card's always live. If yes. you open, like, Burnouts, or you've gone if you burnt out of them. Ha oh, ha! Oh. Ah. Um, then you can't activate the card for that second effect because it's mandatory at both. Yeah, that would suck. Uh, which is kind of rough because the deck doesn't particularly like running burnout anyway. Um, What's it do again? Special two from deck? From graveyard? I don't know. Something. I don't know. They're Gemini. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I told Jake, give me your Chemicritters. And he said, why? I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> <laughs> My reasoning is beyond your understanding. The, the boss monster is pretty cool. It is. I think it's a yeah. cool effect of do... like the whole like whatever it does. I didn't draw you that up. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Find it. It's up here. Was it, it was the sneak peek that that was in. I actually quite enjoyed that. It was one of my first Invasion sneak peeks I remember vengeance. going to. Like, yeah. From when I came back into the game. <laughs> Basically, when a Gemini monster is normal summoned, detach one XYZ material from this card, make your opponent send one card from their hand or field to the graveyard, their choice. So, um, gets around shit not being affected because it affects the player. Yeah. Which is pretty sick. Like a evenly sort of effect, and I don't believe it's once per turn either. Yeah. Well, I guess it's point it's normal summoned law, so. Double summon. <laughs> Maximum, like, three. See, outside of that, there was another card revealed. Um, absolutely oh, trash garbage. so bad. It's the Glacial Aquamador. <sighs> uh, level no, six already this. makes it worse. You haven't seen it? No. It's level really six bad. water spellcaster. Uh, 1,200 attack, 3,000 defense. Ooh. At start of damage step, when a normal monster battles an opponent's monster, normal monster, already shit, uh, you can reveal this card in your hand, discard one card, and if you do, the battling monster cannot be destroyed by battle. Second effect, at the start of the damage step, when oh, wait, this no, card battles an opponent's monster, you can reveal a normal monster in your hand, discard one card, and if you do, destroy that opponent's monster. So, uh... Not good. Yeah, <laughs> bad. Card real bad. Yeah, it's kind of a shame. Because Aquamador was like one of my favorites of like the old school shit back in the day. <laughs> Loza made day two with fucking Aquamador Dark Magician at oh 2017 YCS because he was like, <laughs> let's put Rescue Rabbit in. If I see it, I'm just going to summon Toad with Aquamador. <laughs> and he day two'd with it. That, that was the game plan. Was he that, did, yeah. Was that like 2016? 
Um, it was 2017. 2017. Yeah. Yeah. So that was Three like dogs. ABC, Toad, um, Metal Foe mm-hmm. sort of format. Um, yeah. Um, the other thing that's come out this week in terms of new product is um, we got a little bit more detail about the um, the wind uh, box that we're getting. Um, so here, rather than Whirlwind Duelist or whatever the hell it was called before, they've changed its name to Synchro Storm. Mm. Yeah, makes sense. Because all, all three archetypes obviously have something to do with synchro. Um, so um, yeah, so you you go Lulu from Arc V and Sherry from Five Ds. Those are the three characters that are getting support. Um, so I'll skip over a, a, a fair bit of it. Five like one Ds. mentions that wind synchros all time with Stardust. Um, the final theme represented is Lulu. It's a theme that tries to summon. Rank, do, 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 do. Um, look, a lot of it's a lot of it's kind of just like their usual like oh this is kind of exciting and cool and it's just experience not experience the rush of being able to summon your digital pugs. <laughs> it's yeah. a rush when I summon my common web soldier and it goes. <laughs> um, the, t- the two most interesting things that they've put in this press release um, is the same but basic consig- configuration as legendary duelist rage of Ra. Um, but have more cards in total. So it sounds like it'll just be the rares, supers, and ultras kind of thing. Yeah. And less rares. Far less rares. <laughs> Zero, perhaps. Yeah. But it will have one ghost rare as well. It'll be Stardust oh, well. Dragon. Ah, okay, yeah. Guaranteed well, it'll either be Stardust or Crystal Wing. The Crystal. fact that they have Stardust written in the press release True. makes me think it's Stardust. Yeah. yeah. Well, I reckon it's one of the two. I don't know which one of the two, but one of the two. Yeah. Well, I bought... wait. Does, sorry, does he already have a ghost reprint? Stardust. Yes. Yes. Then yeah. not Stardust. No. Ignore that. Stardust. They might just do it. No. Shit. It does have an alternate artwork, so they might justify oh. doing it in that. Oh, oh, vomit! What is this? The first monster to get two ghost reprintings? No. No? I mean, if you count the misprints, Rainbow Dragon got lots of ghosts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Doesn't that that's true. Solemn Judgment have a ghost? Two it ghost does. printings? Oh, it has a... No. It, it has... Didn't, they didn't have ghosts in the, its original print. Okay. Yeah. Ghosts didn't come out for a while. I hope Totem Bird gets good, because I bought six because of this set. <laughs> Two you don't play not You why. bought a rank three wind Z yeah, for, for a, a wind synchro set. set. Wind set. Synchro was when set. I, when I bought it, it said wind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't have been that it big an wind. investment for you, so I'm sure you'll be fine. I'll recover. Look, if Speed Road Teratop comes off the list, it's actually a good card. Mm. However, the that scenes. card is almost never coming off the list. <laughs> <laughs> the scenes... Oh, that's right. They've um, hinted already at the the tins for this year. Except I don't know if that like are they saying those are our um, mega pack tins? That's our mega tin, yeah. Yeah. So the most exciting thing about this, I haven't read the press release. The most in- exciting thing that I know about this is that these tins will stack. Yeah, they stack with the old tins to try and make the full tablet that they originally advertised last year, and then we're like. You're just going to get a piece of the tablet, not the whole tablet. I miss the old Mega Tins that were just like, here's shit art on a tin and it's big. Throw it in the bin. Yeah. Oh, we we don't miss throw that. it out. I bought a Mega Tin because I was like, it's kind of somewhere to put packs. And I pulled like a Solemn Strike and I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> I kind of hate the way that they do rarities now. Like that everything's swapped around. I just want them in the same rarity that they were before. You see, I would I wouldn't care about them switching the rarity if they didn't just print all the Medulce stuff in lower rarity. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all those rares that would be really good as supers and ultras to match the rest of your deck? Commons. <laughs> also they had the perfect model of how to make a Megatin with the um twenty nineteen ones with the perfect promos. And, and then they just throw it all away. Doing another, so and they're also bad. doing another Dark Magician and Blue Eyes yep. one. Another uh, Dark Magician and Blue Eyes uh, Bro, we are getting <laughs> milked. Like, like Big Mummy. When you look at it, <laughs> from memory, no one bought the Jaden and Yusei tins. So. I don't remember there being Jaden and Yusei tins. Jaden and Yusei tins. They, they were the twins. Yeah, that was when Junk Speeder came yeah. out. And everyone was like, Halk's gotta be in this Mega tin. 
Negative. <laughs> no, we've got a shitty synchro monster. Yep. Like this this is devoted to synchros. Nah. That Junk was also Speeder where just came off their ban list. Yep. For no reason. That was also where Marshall Metal Marcher was. Yes. The real broken card. That was also where Arcana oh. Night Joker Link was. And <laughs> <laughs> we move on from that. But uh Why are yeah. you moving on so quickly from Arcana Night Joker? Because <laughs> The Mega Tins mm-hmm. due out twenty seventh of August, twenty fifth for Ruti Estos. Um, yeah, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes. I'm so sick More. of Dark Magician and Blue Eyes. I don't care. Go away. <laughs> Buy the Jaden you say Tins. No, I don't care about them either. Do you want Link Tins or something like no, that? No, I don't what? like anything. Seven <laughs> Tins. <laughs> what do you want? Don't slap the table. I just want milk that tastes You're like real milk. You're gonna pop the microphone like you did. <laughs> Oh. I don't know. Give me, um, I wonder if milk that whatever the dude like is that plays milk. fucking Yosenju Dynamist and Abyss Act. Just give me that tin. Hey, Edwin, do you know what Lachlan meant when he said, um, I just want milk that tastes like real milk? Absolutely not, because it had the Australian cricket captain in that ad. Yeah. Google it. If you want milk that tastes like real milk. What does real milk taste like? Ask your mom. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> um, anyway, what, what's next on the agenda? Uh, there's, I think that's it for news-wise. Um, is there any sort of decks or anything or, like, mm. upcoming product that people are looking forward to at the moment? Let me see. No, We're still definitely two months not. away from any product. Mm. No, um, I don't know. I'm just going to take Digital Bugs to a fucking locals because I'm so bored right now. I'm so bored that it made me bring out the most boring deck ever conceived. You're right. Dino Mist Mystic Mine. Oh. <laughs> I've I never for, played I a... I sure you meant Salad. No, I've never before played... You know what I'm played... not bored of yet? And never will be? Salad. Yeah. Women. <laughs> <laughs> nope, he became bored of those pretty quickly. He still doesn't know what they are. Women? Women? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Women? <laughs> Sorry, I only know Have you finished Digimon that? cards Wamol. that look like... <laughs> We're off the rails. Yeah, I yeah, mean, look. this is the free free talk portion of the podcast, the I talks. guess. So, I don't know, big titty so, Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, so what, what do you be more? thinking about? What's on your mind, <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! related? Um, <laughs> this is also a dangerous question. This is uh, very dangerous. Let me think. Uh, what reprints will be in the ghost set? Oh, do we yeah, know? True. Do we have the fifth ghost yet? We don't. Nope. Is it just going to be the dark magician girl that they said oh, apparently is? What are the What are the ghosts so far? Let's recap. Uh, um, you've got BLS Link. You've got Firewall Dragon. You've got Dark Magician. You got uh, alternative and yeah. alternative blue eyes. Maybe your red eyes. No, fuck that bitch. Red eyes probably deserves one. Imagine the scenes if Dragoon got a ghost ghost rare. Mm. That that would mean that they were going to ban it sooner than later, right? Because they're like, you we need to so. milk this absolutely right this well, second. Well, they only had one printing. What is Dragoon doing right now, though? It's in every fucking deck. It's no, it's not. It is every deck that can run it well, and that's a, a fair portion of them runs it. But they of aren't the, doing well. Though. Okay, so of the twelve decks that were at locals tonight, there was five running Dragoon. Yeah, but that's our locals. Our locals, in our terms locals of... is the best locals in New South Wales. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! If you want to argue, go on Australian New Year and find even, his post. Even the deer showed up in this post. Yeah, even Farfa commented. He said that it was something else, but he's wrong. He like... said it was Penrith because he watched three, three YCS, YCS win and get taken again. down by Inspect Porter. Yeah, very I fun. Mean, don't you just get stabbed if you go to Glasgow though? <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, probably. Yeah. Shout out to getting stabbed. Gang shit. Lucky bastards. <laughs> I wish someone would stab me. Not really. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> this has sufficiently derailed and we've just about hit ha- half an hour. So, uh, thank you all, guys. Um, if you would like to join the Discord to hear more coherent sentences, um, please jump on the link below. Come say hi. Um, people in there are really great. They have remote duels and stuff going on in yeah. there every so often. We like to have a chat. Um, and if you have any questions for the pod, you can also put them in the Discord or email us at 
teamcfg at gmail.com, the four being a number. Um, yeah, on the Discord we have specific um, little bits, uh, like a little server of its own. Channel. We have a channel for podcast questions that you can ask and um, we'll answer. You can also just leave a comment, to be honest. That's pretty good. It's all pretty self-explanatory. It's been yeah. fairly well laid out. so It's not difficult to find us. Not at all. All right. Thanks a lot, guys, for coming. And we'll talk to you all again next week. Thanks, Seb, for showing up. Play Digimon. <laughs> That's what we're <laughs>